when you're building with Elementor, it's recommended that you use the Hello theme, and that's what we will be adding in a moment. Now, I am going to install some extra plugins, but I will add some later on as we work through the course as and when we need them. But we are going to keep this as lean and mean as possible to helpfully enhance your performance and reduce the amount of plugins and bloat you have on your WordPress website. We're going to go over to appearance and we're going to go to themes. Most likely you will have something like this already present. We're actually going to eliminate all of these after we've added in the hello theme. So the first thing we're going to do is click add theme. And if you don't see hello from the get go, go and do a search for it. Please note though, you will see lots of other themes that pop up with the term hello, ignore them. Always go for the theme called Hello Elemental. I'm going to click install. Within a few seconds, you can then click activate. Before we continue, let's eliminate all of the other themes because we don't need them taking up space in our file. So I will click each theme and then I will click delete and we'll get rid of it. Do the same for the other two. Excellent. We now have just one theme. Now let's go and add in some plugins. On the left hand side of our dashboard, we're going to go to plugins. At the moment, I have no plugins installed. We're going to click add plugin and we will do a search for Elementor. There is no need for us to use any of the Elementor add-ons. Again, we're keeping this lean and mean with what we're going to be using throughout this course. Don't forget to click activate once it's installed. Now you will be taken to an interface which you can actually skip right now. If you do want to go through a setup process, you can do. This is where it will ask you to go and create an Elemental account. My recommendation is that you just install Elemental free and then you go to Elemental.com. Use the link in the video description. It is an affiliate link, but you could go directly to Elemental.com and then go and get your Elemental Pro license. I recommend that you go for the advanced solo plan because in some places we may use some custom code. If you do go for the essential plan, you can still add in custom code, but you will be missing out on some other features that we may use throughout the course. So I strongly recommend you go for the advanced solo plan. Back into WordPress, once you've installed the free Elemental plugin, you will see a screen option. I do like to remove these because I like to keep my dashboard clear. Let's go back over to plugins and click install plugins. We've got the Elemental plugin but we need to now install Elemental Pro. Once you've signed up for an account, you'll be able to download Elemental Pro. To install it, you need to click Add Plugin and then click Upload Plugin. Then click Choose File, select the latest version that is available and then click Install Now. Activate plugin when you're asked to. Final step is you must ensure that you have connected your license to Elemental Pro. So click connect and activate, sign into Elementor, and then click the button to connect and activate. It's that simple. For now, there is another plugin that I would like you to install. Go over to add plugin, type in code snippets and install the code snippets plugin that you can use for free. These are the three plugins that we're going to start off with. And later on, we will add some more when it's appropriate.